working on solutions for the problems that exist. We're not getting to the core. Right. We're See? doing the long term. We're doing this, Shut. you know, and it's fucking stupid. It's very basic and simple. If the nigger's on the corner selling crack, you jerk his ass off, I'll pay my taxes and keep the motherfucker in jail. Keep him in jail. I look at them at the same level of, uh... Man, I just don't go for any of it. I guess a black woman for a white man, it looks so much stranger because it's a little rarer than the black man with the white woman these days. You know, it... I guess I see it a little... No, I, re I don't see it differently. I think she need to find, you know what I'm saying? Somebody for her, he need to find somebody for you. But if they love each other, they say they love each other and all that. Somewhat, this. because the white man controls everything. And the minorities do not make the same money. They're doing the same job. Sometimes they do more. It's in the Webster Dictionary. You can look it up. I'm a redneck, but I'm first generation Irish. I hate me too. I'm okay. straight redneck. A city in Dallas, Texas, uh, blacks and white call each other nigga. Uh, the young people because they think that's some kind of a affectionate term, I suppose. I don't have anything against the black race. Please believe me. What I have against the blacks is the attitude. I don't have an attitude towards them. I'll give a black man the same opportunity I'll give away. One of the reasons I have a problem with black folk is because they, they won't accept the blame for their own community flaws. It's the white man's fault. Because the white man is putting out the drugs, and they are living like kings. Blacks do not have boats and airplanes to get the drugs in here. The white man puts it in here and they, they put it in the street for the blacks, and they are the ones who distributed most of it once it's hit the street. And that's what's happening, sweetheart. I was a pretty good dad. I imported a lot of cocaine from South America, okay, on my boat. I imported a lot of marijuana, but those were the days when the shit was okay. Okay, well, all American, encompassing everything that America is supposed to stand for, I, I have to go along with like this. All American boy or girl. Grows up in a family, at least a family environment, with at least one parent, whether or not it's a mother or a father, preferably two parents, or either if it's a mother, some male figure. Big, white, shiny teeth, you know, suave looking hair, uh, going to some good, expensive college. His parents are definitely upper middle class, if not like, you know, wealthy. Knows the Ten Commandments and live accordingly. Leave it to be for <laughs> kind, of, kind of family, you know. Uh, the all American girls even worse. In my personal opinion, there is no all American boy or girl. America is too many things right now. Actually, that's a white term. All American, blue eyed, blonde hair. Well, seeing as we are a melting pot. And, um, but I like the new sociological term that, uh, that uh, we're like a salad, a chef salad. All cultures should be together so everyone can know and love one another. If I believe in Booker T and the MGs, who uh, back in the 1970s wrote a song called Melting Pot. I think that was a social uh, ology. Uh, term that was, uh, that was term was used during the 60s I do know. I mean you've had interracial couples from the get go the only thing that people get all up in arms about is when it's like any other race and black. I don't believe in the melting pot. I don't believe that it should be a melting pot. A uh, melting pot everyone comes over and melt in and, and what's happening is that America uh, the system will accept you as long as you talk quite as long as you had blue eyes, as long as you had blonde hair, or you acted a certain way. Yes, that's a melting pot. Uh, I would prefer that all races stayed to themselves and uh, married within themselves so they can keep an that, identity. Uh, we're like a salad, a chef salad. Uh, you know, that, 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 uh, it takes, it takes the uh, 
olives, the black olives. It takes the green olives. It takes the cheese, the white and, uh, the, or the yellow cheese. And that all these things, the turkey, uh, the dark meat or the white meat, it takes all <clears throat> of that to make a great salad with the lettuce. All that to make a great salad, but no one loses his or her identity. For what I've seen of it, it's mostly really bored, well-moneyed white suburbanites who see this on TV and they see how badass you know some of these gangsters are and it, it kind of spins off from there they decide oh well you know I'm going to emulate this so I can have a personality for a change. The posturing itself comes from but I always like people that act like that I always fit them with an ulterior motive like they're having some kind of angle that they're aiming towards. I see no s common way in which uh, African Americans acted uh, so acting black to me is uh, a strange notion. Um, well there is no such thing as acting and black. just you know generally acting <laughs> Dumbass, <laughs> acting like a dumbass, know, basically. Uh, walking with attitude or talking with attitude. If everybody want to say everybody got a little bit of soul, that's okay, but. Black people have uh, a flavor that white people don't have. I don't know what it's You, you it's are like. yourself. That's There's no acting black. If there, there's being something, there's pretending to be something that you're not, but there is no acting black. I can't stand that black music, black clothes, you know, there, there's no such I thing. I don't know what acting black means. Oh, that makes me sick. Wear clothes that are so big that you fall, you know, you're falling out of them. Because it, it happens both ways. You have blacks that actually have been raised in a society where they're around more white people and they actually feel like they're white, but then when they get around black people, then they try to overcompensate and, and they'll try to act black, even though they're already black. But they have white personalities. Dancing, rapping, and maybe like maybe sometimes a kind of um, big loudness. Depends where you're from, or where you grew up, what your family was like, and that depends how you act. Um, to me, it means nothing because... Image, like uh, first dichotomy that would pop up into my head would be Bob, this white bread kid, um, trying to use the slang that um, a lot of the lower class black kids would use, which I, you know, not only use the slang, but uh, dress in the same fashion, listen to the same music, um, which especially if it's like within the lower class black kids i think that there's no reason the, for that you know, various postures of you know trying to look too cool for your own good and um the fun uh ebonics um but you can ask me about that later um <laughs> black i think that's another way of uh um, of saying yeah basically of saying you trying to act like a nigga you know what i'm saying which and we all know a nigga is anybody who acts stupid you know what i'm saying but uh acting black is just something i feel that they may i feel they made the term up because of the fact they like what they see you know what i'm saying and it's just like aliens they don't know it so they're afraid of it well i hate the word to start with so it probably has bad connotations <laughs> um we refer to many times as negro for more time than necessary as niggas, which was considered a derogatory term by white America, the Caucasian like population. Me, nigger means like kind of like a servant. A nigger is any ignorant yeah. person. Like it's a bad word for a black person. Or That's one of the homies word. on the corner that's uh, selling whatever drug it is that they're selling outside of my front stupid door. Stupid people call a black person nigger. A friend of mine said, nigger please. Uh, in that, the way he said it, is you got to be real, man. Uh, right now, a nigga, I guess, would be the people that hang out in my neighborhood screaming that as their, you know, descriptive term relative to dude. Uh, she was giving him some uh, fly ju uh, juice, and uh, so he gave her a discount. You know, sometimes when something is so negative, you have to use it and turn it into something positive. Like I come from another place. And we say that always. I don't think that's a bad word at all. In fact, I like uh, that word. Not only the term is divided, it's the way you say it too. Talking to, I don't know what, whom, 
and I was like, yes, it's nigger, but because we use that in Spanish, no, and, and it's not bad at all, and they almost killed me. And I was like, what? I didn't know it was like so, such a bad now, word. Now, white boy couldn't say anything to my generation, nigga, please, or nigga, shut up. You better not say nigga, shut up. You just better not even say nigga. Uh, because someone would get hurt. They call each other, hey, nigga, and then they uh, yell at one guy because he sold something for too little money because it was one of his... You know, uh, you got to be real. Be I, real. I wouldn't hesitate to call some black guy who was yelling at me or looking at me or just, you know, being slack ass, sitting out in the park, bothering people. I wouldn't hesitate to call him a nigga. The difference between nigga... Uh, uh, and nigger uh, would depend greatly upon who was using the word. A nigger's uh, anybody who's, uh, who might do anything. He comes in all colors of kinds. Uh, I don't know if I personally am the best to, to answer that. According to Webster, who is white, says it comes from Negro meaning black. But it's very offensive, and it does not apply to black people. Uh, I, I don't really, haven't done my research on homeboys uh, lately, so. Anything that the white man writes about a black person most time is offensive. You're generalizing the entire population of, you know, black people. But, I lived uh, in Germany, and when I went into Germany, every street, the white man had said over there, every time you see a Dawson person saying, Nigger, nigger, nigger. Until we told the Germans what the white man was all about. Then they had that all black men called niggers had tails. My husband was in service, and he is black. And in the shower one day, I had him to undress before the maid so she could see he didn't have a tail on. But if he had, and after that, that did something to the people in Germany. It's a bad word to say. I don't know what a nigga is. A nigga is a black person. I think a nigga is an ignorant person. No one if you're black or white. The people I hang around use it, they don't really mean it as a bad way that's a figure of speech. I would say that a nigga is someone who acts ignorant or stubborn, someone who is an idiot. And people who use that word as a context of black people, then they're themselves are nigga. Acting black means trying to act like an African American. They cannot that. act black because everyone acts different. I guess some people say acting black is acting rude or acting loud and get. I guess using slang language. I don't know what acting black means. I feel that like acting black is just acting your regular self or acting any other way that anybody else would. I do not believe there is a such thing as acting black or acting white.